Warning, this video will include spoilers. If you don't want to know what happened in the 50th anniversary episode, please leave now. With all that superficial stuff out of the way, hello and welcome to this special YouTube video that celebrates the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. As I'm sure many of you have just watched the 50th anniversary episode, in this video I'm going to talk about my reaction to what was announced and revealed within the program. The program answered quite a lot of the questions that had existed since the beginning of the reboot of Doctor Who since 2005. In parts of the program it made me laugh because it, the humour was perfect. It was a great celebration of the past but it also showed the direction that Stephen Moffat wants to take Doctor Who into the future perhaps. This program was very, very well done. The production of it was also high quality and it showed what could be achieved when you in, when you have a team that's able to bring out their true imaginations and show great diversity and given unlimited options on what they are able to do. John Hurt as the mystery war doctor was a masterstroke. The man is a genius and he is an acting legend and he was perfect choice for being the war doctor. David Tennant who is by many regards the most ultimately the best doctor in the modern incarnation of the show was also brilliant as always and it was nice to see him return to the role. Matt Smith's Doctor was also fleshed out more. I felt that I started to gain a more better understanding of Matt Smith's Doctor and his vulnerability and his, you know, his scaredness, how scared he was about facing his past. <coughs> this show showed that there is a lot to the depth of Doctor Who and that the future looks even more like it's going to have a lot more depth to it as well. I felt that this program also connected quite a lot of different things and aspects throughout the Doctor Who lore and mythology. It did show us parts of the Time War but it didn't show us everything and maybe Stephen Moffat wants to keep this behind and show us it later on maybe. It also showed that there are different parts of the Doctor's character and it increased his um, character and made him more of a three dimensional person and c increased his ability to be approached in different ways. Um, the episode also showed that not every action has the consequence that you would imagine. The Doctor felt for a long time that he was responsible for the destruction of his own people but as the episode showed, this may not necessarily be true, and it isn't true because he in fact saved them and staged the destruction of his own people so that they may survive rather than be perished in fire and burnt in the, at the end of the time war. What do we take from this episode looking to the future and to the future era of Peter Capaldi as the Doctor? Um, this episode shows that the Time Lords do exist and they still exist in the Doctor Who universe but their location and where they actually are is still a mystery. Perhaps Stephen Moffat wants to make it the Doctor's future journey so that he can find his home, find his people and perhaps that will become more relevant in the future series that are to come. The Time Lords are not destroyed, they were saved by the Doctor um, and this episode has answered a lot of questions but it's also created a lot more questions that now themselves need to be answered and I'm sure the team on Doctor Who will keep answering these questions but by doing so create more questions that need to be answered if that makes sense. This episode has looked to the past and celebrated the past of Doctor Who but it's also propelled the show into the future and given it given it a long distant future that where the Doctor has a goal to 
find his home, find his people, find the people he thought he'd lost and destroyed in the at the end of the time war. This episode has, as I said, it's it's answered quite a lot of questions, but it's created more, and and I welcome the opportunity in the future episodes for these questions to be answered. I'd like to say a big happy birthday to Doctor Who on its 50th anniversary. Um, I'd also like to thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I know it may seem a bit rushed and a bit quick, but I've tried to get this video done and finished relatively quickly just after the episode is finished. Um, and I would like to ask all of you that to share this video, like this video, comment and tell me what you think of the 50th anniversary episode. What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? What do you feel its message is for the future of Doctor Who? Um, I would like to also ask you if you want to follow me on any social media sites or social network sites, you can do. Um, I'll leave these in the link uh, links. I'll leave those links below in the dis video description. Once again, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll see you in a future video on more on more things to do with Doctor Who. Pokemon, Final Fantasy, gaming, technology, the lot. Thank you very much and goodbye.